What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're going to check out this bilge pump from Seaflow. Now this one operates at 2000 GPH, which is gallons per hour. I'm going to flip the switch and see how fast it gets this 10 gallons out of this tank. Ready? Let's go. Now bilge pumps used to get the water out of your boat. As you can see, it's doing a really good job here in this tank. That'd be good if you like parked your boat out in the marina, forgot to cover it up, it rained, you want to get rid of that excess water, or you accidentally go out without your plug put in the back of the boat and realize pretty quick you need to drain that water out. It's a way quicker option than using a bucket or a manual bilge pump. This is going to be a switch-based bilge pump. And what that means is when you wire it in, it's going to have to have the switch to turn it on turn it off. It doesn't know when to turn on and off on its own. So it's got that constant power. It's up to you to turn it on and off. Now you can get an auto bilge pump and that's what this is. I'm going to open up and show you on the inside. It's got this float switch here. When the water floats up it'll activate it automatically and when it comes back down here it stops automatically. Now this one's not the same GPH so if you still wanted the 2000 GPH you get an external float switch which you can wire in and it's the same thing that's inside here it's just going to be outside next to your bilge pump so it's the same thing it's more like a paddle so it'll float up to the top activate it and come back down and shut it off let's take it apart and see what it looks like i'm going to take the filter off first this is used just to collect any big debris like leaves or anything from getting in there and clogging up the fan make sure that doesn't work you know then it can't pump any water but with this on there it's going to keep that from happening Water comes in through here, comes right out the pump to the outside of your boat. A couple of things to think about when you're going to get your bilge pump, are you going to replace one or add an additional pump to your boat? If you're replacing one, then you're just going to use the same hose you already had. I would suggest getting some heat shrink bud connectors because you're going to need them either way. If you're adding one in addition to, you'll still need to make those connections, make sure they're watertight, and you'll need a hose because it doesn't come with a hose. It works with bilge pump hoses of one inch and an eighth. So that's the diameter on the inside that it's going to work with. This is actually one of the faster bilge pumps we have. And that doesn't make sense to me just telling you. I'd rather show you. So we put them all to the test side by side and see how fast they go. Let's check it out. Here's the plan. We're going to pour 10 gallons into this container. And we're going to do that with every bilge pump to make sure we have the same amount of water. And then we can time it and see how quick it takes to pump it out. First up is the 500 gallons per hour. This is going to be the slowest one we have, but the smallest one. So if you have a smaller boat, you don't maybe have the room to put the bigger 2,000 gallon per hour one in there, this one's going to work for you just fine. Next up is the 750 gallons per hour. This one's gonna be a little faster, but the unique thing on this one is this is an automatic bilge pump. So once it hits the water, it's gonna activate, and once it gets all the way down, it's gonna shut itself off. Stop. Now we're going to test out the 1100 GPH bilge pump. This one's a non automatic, so it's switch based, but you're going to see quite a big difference from the last one. Done. Now this one's going to be the same 1100 GPH, but this one's going to be automatic. So again, you'll see it activate once it hits the water and then shut off once it gets to the bottom.
on. Now we're gonna test out the 2000 GPH bilge pump. As I drop this one in there, it activates right away because it's automatic and you're gonna see it's gonna take down the water pretty quick. Done. So that's pretty cool to see them right in a row and they actually do make a big difference. They don't just have the numbers on there for no reason. Our lowest one, our 500 was 50 seconds and the highest one at 2000 was 22 seconds. So that's a big difference and we saw that change with each one we used. One thing I will note though is the sound sure didn't change too much. They sounded about the same, especially when it was submerged in water. Of course it gets noisier when there's no water. You can hear it right before it shuts off. But most of these are gonna be down, tucked away somewhere in your boat. So they're not gonna be like right in front of the steering wheel in your face. You're barely gonna hear it when it's going in your boat, pumping that water out. One of the biggest differences for me is the switch based ones versus the ones that have that auto switch. You can see again, as this water raises up, it'll lift this up and engage it. I think that's just a better way to go about it. I have to worry about flipping the switch or what if I forgot to do it, then the back of my boat floods. Once this starts going up, it's gonna pump that water out. That way it never builds up on you. Whichever one you go with, it's gonna get the job done. We saw that they just go a little bit faster. It's way better than using a manual pump or a bucket. I'd much rather have this do the work for me. I think that does it for our look at these bilge pumps. Hope that helped.